iron deficiency is the most common nutritional deficiency and is considered to be the leading cause of anemia worldwide. In this video, we are going to learn about the causes, symptoms, and lab diagnosis of iron deficiency anemia. Total body iron is about 3.5 grams in healthy men and 2.5 grams in women, and it's distributed in hemoglobin, ferritin, hemosiderin, myoglobin, tissue enzymes, and the transport iron compartment. Iron is absorbed in the duodenum and upper jejunum. Iron absorption is best when food contains heme iron or meat. Dietary non-heme iron is usually in the ferric state and must be reduced to the ferrous state and released from food binders by gastric secretions. Ascorbic acid is the only common food element known to increase non-heme iron absorption. Iron from intestinal mucosal cells is transferred to transferrin, an iron transport protein synthesized in the liver. Transferrin can transport iron from intestinal cells to specific receptors on erythroblasts, placental cells, and liver cells. For heme synthesis, transferrin transports iron to the erythroblast mitochondria, which inserts the iron into protoporphyrin 9 for it to become heme. Synthesis of transferrin increases with iron deficiency but decreases with any type of chronic disease. Iron deficiency anemia develops in three stages, iron depletion, iron deficient erythropoiesis, and iron deficiency anemia. At the initial stage, iron stores are exhausted as indicated by decreased serum ferritin and serum iron is normal. Here there's no anemia and erythrocyte morphology is normal. In iron deficiency erythropoiesis, there's insufficient iron level to insert into the protoporphyrin ring to form heme as serum iron is depleted. But anemia and hypochromic are still not detectable. However, erythrocytes may become slightly microcytic. This negative flow of iron into RBCs will lead to iron deficiency anemia's final stage. Blood loss is the major cause of the iron deficiency. In men and postmenopausal women, the most frequent cause is chronic occult bleeding, usually from the gastrointestinal tract due to ulcers, malignancy, hemorrhoids, or vascular ectasias. In premenopausal women, cumulative menstrual blood loss is a common cause. Intestinal bleeding due to hookworm infection is a common cause in developing countries. Increased iron requirements may contribute to iron deficiency. From birth to age 2 and during adolescence, dietary iron often is inadequate when rapid growth requires a large iron intake. During pregnancy, the fetal iron requirement increases the maternal iron requirement despite the absence of menses. Lactation also increases the iron requirement. Decreased iron absorption can result from gastrectomy or malabsorption syndromes such as celiac disease, atrophic gastritis, helicobacter pylori infection, and rarely iron refractory iron deficiency anemia. Dietary inadequacy of iron can also lead to iron deficiency anemia. Most symptoms of iron deficiency are due to anemia. Such symptoms include fatigue, loss of stamina, shortness of breath, weakness, dizziness, and pallor. Another common symptom is restless leg syndrome, which is an unpleasant urge to move the legs during periods of inactivity. In addition to the usual manifestations of anemia, some uncommon symptoms occur in severe iron deficiency. Patients may have pica, an abnormal craving to eat non-food substances like ice, dirt, paint, starch, and ashes. Other symptoms of severe deficiency include glossitis, chylosis, and concave nails known as coelonychia. Complete blood count, serum iron, iron binding capacity, serum ferritin, transferrin saturation, retic count, red cell distribution width, and a peripheral blood smear are useful tests to diagnose IDA. Bone marrow examination is also done rarely. In complete blood count, RBC count is either normal in early stages or decreased towards severe stages with low hemoglobin level. WBC and platelet counts are mostly normal. In case of chronic bleeding, platelet count increases. RDW value is increased as the microcytic RBC population increases. Packed cell volume, MCV, MCH, and MCHC all decreased in IDA. 
If you have already watched our previous video, you know that iron deficiency anemia is a type of microcytic hypochromic anemia. So, the blood picture shows microcytic hypochromic cells while teardrop cells, pencil cells, and target cells also appeared in them. Retic count reduces slightly in IDA. In the serum iron profile serum iron, serum ferritin, and transferrin saturation levels drop while total iron binding capacity increases. Bone marrow will be hypercellular with polychromatic normoblast predominance. The erythroid series is small and have tiny projections from the cytoplasm and the iron stain findings will be negative. Hope you learned many facts about iron deficiency anemia. We will meet in another video. Until then, goodbye.